today. From FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. frigid December day in our nation's capital. We got our space heaters on full blast up in the booth at FedEx Field. They love their football in this part of the country, and this crowd is ready to go as their guys will match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. over 4,000 yards each in the previous season. So what you're saying is, if you're a defender, hope you're prepared properly. Hydrated, stretched, be on your toes, as you said, because the ball's coming your way. Takes this about five yards deep. How do they get a win? This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. But he wasn't able to get him down, but his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Here on their opening drive, this is third and seven. From the gun, it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he's got Lockett. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. They start on the ground with Geis. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. From the 40 now on second down, Winston. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. On first down, this is Geis. And he's got this down to the 35. On first down, it's Gibson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine. On second and one, Winston. That'll be caught at Steven Sims. From the red zone now, Winston. The throw taken in by Sims. On second down now, it's Gibson. Yeah, he'll be dropped at about the 11. On third down, Gibson. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot. Obviously not in their futures. They look ahead to the offseason. What spots do they maybe need to fill? Well, I think that they like the guy who's calling the plays and throwing the ball. I think that he's a pretty good player. Was settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Here's Hyde on the draw. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So a good spin move, but not a whole lot to show after as he's taken down. Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive. Right. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end. He was good. Had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. The pitch back. 20. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 
Winston now to throw on first down. This is caught. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. To throw, Winston. Eluding the pressure right to the end zone. Winston on third and two. The quick slant caught. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. A give to Hyde out of the gun. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a run with Hyde. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Now he's able to break through one tackle. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And that is incomplete here. They come up to the line now facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. And 10 yards to go. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And they're going to have another first down. We'll call this play significant. On first down, Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. You can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Now a nice play defensively. To throw again. Wilson. He finds his running back. Hyde. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Gets that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Thomas Davis. He's at the 40, the 20, 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Washington. In time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you now just you called. Can go. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think you did. But let's face it. You mentioned this to me in a break. Instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Now it's Carson. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in. And yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On second down, it's Carson. And again, the run defense stout this time. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no game. They do get none. Here's a quick throw left side to start things out. Here's Winston completing a quick throw out wide. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Jameis to throw it. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And taking it to the 15-yard line.
Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Off the play fake, Winston. Off to Thomas on the left side. Third down, here's Geis. And the tackle made at the 13. A 30-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And his throw is incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on. Go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. Play action now, Winston. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll pull it down. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You can't block me. You can't block me. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. From the gun, Winston. And this will be incomplete. Working out of the gun, Winston. Going deep for Walker. And he bats it away. On third down, Winston. He's going to take another shot here. And that's caught inside the 35. And the Seahawks have picked it up. These guys to try and get more. But that doesn't count if you don't bring the ball with you, does it? Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. He looks underneath and he finds Hyde. He gets seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he finds his man, the tight end Olson. Extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Dixon. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And it's taken in at the nine. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey, and it's the Browns who are out on top. Nick Chubb over 100 yards on the afternoon thus far with a touchdown run as well. From there, let's head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium and they trail the visiting Chicago Bears. Two touchdown passes there for Mitchell Trubisky. Lastly, we're off to the Rocky Mountains, Denver, Colorado. See what's happening with the Broncos. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Buffalo Bills. Cortland Sutton, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Michael Dixon. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They 
start the second half with a run by Geis. And he'll be upended at the 28 or second and seven now from the 28. And he'll give it here to his running back. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Third and short yardage, Winston. He's able to find Edmund. Now a play fake here on first down. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Following the penalty, it's Geis. He'll lose a yard there. Again, they run. Again, it's Geis. Eight yards there on the carry. Winston from the gun on third down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one for that number one seed. But failing that, because only two teams in the NFL get a bye, one from each conference, that question becomes who's hot? Who's peaking at the right time as you start the playoffs? From the gun, Wilson. And this is a quick slant to lock it. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. Complete. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Underneath, he's got Olsen. On second down now, it's Carson. Oh boy, hang on here. Tight end Greg Olsen appears to be banged up. It's in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They run again with Carson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It plays made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28. Really different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Second and five now. Winston. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. On first down, Gibson. And no room to maneuver. On second and nine, Winston. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. A run here for J.D. McKissick, and he will have first down yardage. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson, and he'll bring this one inside the 35. Throwing on second and three, Winston, and he'll complete this to Gibson. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31. Hands it off out of the gun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Stepping up, he'll try and run. To throw, Winston. And he will score. Touchdown, Washington. Jameis Winston, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Looking left side. For 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. It's a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. Seahawks on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and seven. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. 
Forced out to his left. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's got his man. That's Josh Gordon. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. They don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Throwing again. Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll get him inside the 15. Gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged the car. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson. Lots of work left to do. But here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. On first down, Gibson. And they go backwards here, losing yardage. Despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibson. He takes it down to the 42. Well, they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now it's a bootleg with Winston. And he fires once. was able to force the punt a moment ago, but that's really the first of about eight steps that need to go right for them to get back in this as they start here first and ten. And Olsen over the middle. Operating from the gun, Wilson. The Seahawks on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and four. And that will be incomplete. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. And it's incomplete. They'll run on first down. Gibson down right around the 25. Two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And they take a knee. And they'll indeed take a knee. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Washington, they get back to 500 now as the win moves them to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll have another home date next week as the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for Seattle, they drop their 10th game now to fall to 4-10.